We've talked on the YouTube channel about Dead Rising and this franchise from, you know, the past, the present, and what could be the future of it moving forward. And I wanted to talk with you guys in this segment of the show about what happened to Dead Rising because there's been a lot of people that have asked the question, you know, will there be a continuation of this franchise at some point or another in the future? And I wanted to go ahead and talk about what happened here because a lot of it is speculation. Some of it is fact. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Maybe we can kind of speculate on whether or not there will be a continuation at some point in the future. And let me know, guys, in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about Dead Rising? Do you think there will be a continuation or do you think it's in a state of no return. So let's talk about it. So guys, there's a couple of things when we talk about, you know, any franchise and we talk about this all the time on the YouTube channel. There are two major things that dictate whether a franchise is going to continue or if it's going to go into a limbo state or a state of no return. And those two things are guys, number one is obviously the sales of a game. I mean, that that's the bread and butter of it. I mean, if you have really good sales, your game is selling really well, you can almost guarantee that you're going to get a sequel at some point or another. Um, the second part of that is the, the critical reception of a game. If there is a lot of great feedback and the reviews are very good and such, that can also help your game in a major way. But if one of those two things is not doing very well, like the sales or the reception of a title, that can put your title into a really bad place. Now, there's obviously a lot of other things that go into this besides those two things, but those are usually, generally speaking, the two major things that these franchises and the, those that are making them look at. So when we look at the aggregate review scores of the original Dead Rising titles, guys, we look at Dead Rising, got 85 uh, from on the Xbox 360, got a 78 on PS4, that's pretty good. Good. We see usually the the series as a whole does has did a, a pretty good job of, of getting pretty good reviews. Up until Dead Rising 3, you had Dead Rising 3, like all of the different other DLC that came out got very poor reviews, or I should say very average reviews to say to, to really put it lightly. But Overall, when you look at each of these titles that comes out, um, none of them did as well as the very first Dead Rising title, but even Dead Rising 4 was getting pretty good, got pretty good reviews. 74 on PC, 72 on Xbox One, and PS4 got a 71. So pretty good at the end of the day. Now, the second part of this though, guys, is of course the, you know, the the sales and such. Dead Rising 4, guys, uh, this title came out back in 2016. Um, so, obviously, it's been a while, right? It's been a, a little while since we saw a continuation of Dead Rising and this franchise. Well, here's the deal. We're getting all this information from none other than Wikipedia, guys. As far as the reception goes for Dead Rising 4, we already we already talked about it. It got pretty good reviews, right? It was certainly a little bit above average. Um, now, as far as what happened here, why didn't we get a Dead Rising 5? Because there was, guys, for those of you who didn't know, there was a Dead Rising 5 that was greenlit and was in active development. A sequel to the game titled Dead Rising 5 was in development at, Camp, at Capcom Vancouver. The game was set between Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 3 and would have followed the adventures of Chuck and Katie Green in Mexico. The project was canceled when Capcom Vancouver shut down in September of 2018. So, honestly, guys, that that's pretty much what happened here. So let, let's talk about it. Now, sure, there's a lot of like details that go behind why did, you know, Capcom Vancouver get shot down. But you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of what happened at Visceral Games with EA. Of course, Visceral Games were the ones who made the Dead Space franchise, right? And so, uh, you know, the things that happened there kind of sound somewhat familiar. It was just a lot of it was Dead Space 3 did not meet the expectations of EA. They closed down Visceral Games. But on this side, Dead Rising Five was in active development. So what happened here? Well, in an article that was written by Jay Brody Shuri of Screen Rant, a new video goes into the troubled development of Dead Rising 5, revealing a number of issues that ultimately resulted in the game's cancellation. A new video uh, details the development cycle of Capcom's ill-fated Dead Rising 5, including some very deep-rooted problems that took hold behind the scenes, which sent the game to the grave just a few months after its announcement. The zombie-slaying makeshift weapon 
crafting sandbox series had previously been a powerhouse franchise in its earlier years, showing no less than four mainline games and even a tie-in film since it first burst onto the Xbox 360 back in 2006. Things all changed when Capcom attempted a fifth Dead Rising game in 2018 despite initial optimism regarding the new sequel. This planned Dead Rising 5 would eventually be canceled a few months later, causing longtime series developer Capcom Vancouver to shut down and effectively ending the franchise for the time being. Since then, fans have been left wondering what the new game would have entailed as well as what circumstances caused the project to go wrong so quickly. So... Uh, Liam Robertson, a uh, Game History Secrets, has provided some insight into these previously unanswered questions in a recent video that was posted on Did You Know Gaming YouTube channel. Robertson details the history of the Dead Rising franchise, including the chaotic development of the ultimately unreleased fifth installment. Apparently, Dead Rising 5 would have starred Dead Rising 2 lead Chuck Green and his now-grown daughter Katie as they battle a drug cartel and another zombie apocalypse in a setting far more vibrant than past titles. Uh, however, at the helm, a completely inexperienced team was and licensing issues arose over the game's planned use of Unreal Engine 4, which ultimately led Capcom to pull the plug on the game altogether. So, even before the disastrous development cycle of Dead Rising 5, the series had already begun to enter rocky territory with the wildly divisive Dead Rising 4, which was rushed through production for a lackluster release in 2016. Critical reception was mixed, and many fans disliked the game's even goofier tone, and the fact that several key components from past entries were stripped out, such as the tension-inducing time limits on the campaign that defined Dead Rising as a series. The finished product ultimately sold so poorly that one-fifth of Capcom Vancouver staff had to be laid off prior to the official announcement of Dead Rising 5, with the studio being shuttered shortly thereafter. So, I mean, it just comes to show you guys that Dead Rising and, and just any franchise out there, they got to take their time, you know, um, and, you know, you got to take your time when you're making a game, making sure that it's going to be something that people are going to enjoy, even though, even if you don't know for sure if they're going to enjoy it, make sure it's a well done, you know, project and, 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 and game. And we know that with De Dead Rising 4, it did have a very goofy tone. And, and honestly, the reviews, the critical reception, it was mixed, but it was more positive than negative. But yes, the goofier tone definitely was not good. Um, and I really wish that they didn't do that, go that extreme. I wish they would have had more of a serious tone to Dead Rising 4. But nonetheless, uh, it sounds like, you know, uh, that Dead Rising 4 was just the beginning of, of this kind of feel. This certainly wouldn't have helped the game's ultimately ill-fated development cycle. So it may the, be the best that it simply never came to fruition. Perhaps Dead Rising 5 could have turned the series around due to its more colorful setting and interesting story, but the project was sadly not to, to be. One day, it can be hoped that the Dead Rising franchise might be rebooted to new success. For now, though, all fans can do is check out the story of the trouble of Dead Rising 5, a saga that has seemingly killed off Capcom's once well-regarded series with the blow that not even the undead could weather. And it's unfortunate. It truly is unfortunate, guys, um, what happened here with Dead Rising 5 in particular. And so that's what I think happened here. At the end of the day, Dead Rising 4 was rushed, comes out, and it's a very goofy tone. There was a lot of criticism there behind that. And like I told you guys, um, it comes down to two things, reception and sales. So the first thing is the sales. Sales were very poor for Dead Rising 4. So that right there can very well kill a franchise or put it into a limbo state or a state of no return. And then number two is the reception. And the reception was mixed. Sure, it was more positive than negative, but it was still pretty mixed. So you add those two things together and you have yourself a very a problem on your hands. And that's absolutely what Capcom had. They had to lay off a bunch of people over Capcom Vancouver. And I believe this could have been something that I, I really think that part of the problem was the direction they went with Dead Rising 4, more of a goofier tone. I think if they would have gone with a more serious tone and would have taken their time with it, I think it could have been something really special. But obviously guys, Dead Rising 5 was not meant to be at least at this point in time. Now, will we get a Dead Rising 5 at some point? I do think Capcom will revisit it at some point if they don't sell, decide to sell the IP, but it's hard to say, guys. Uh, look, it doesn't look good, at least right now. Similar to like Dead Space, it just doesn't look good right now. Um, unless somebody comes comes into the fray, decides to try to purchase the IP or something of that nature, 
Um, I think that the best hope that we have is us as a community voicing our opinion, stating that we want a Dead Rising 5 to come out. Because right now, we're in a dark place with Dead Rising. We really are. It's, a, it's another one of those titles that's in a really rough spot because of the decisions that were made with Dead Rising 4. And then, of course, with Dead Rising 5 being greenlit and then being canceled so early, it's really unfortunate. Um, I would have liked to see what Dead Rising 5 would have offered, but it sounds like from multiple interviews and things of that nature that it would have been even more over the top than Dead Rising 4. Now, we don't know if that's 100% true, but it, that's what, you know, a lot of review, uh, you know, a, a lot of interviews and such kind of suggested was that it was going to be, you know, even more over the top. But it's hard to say, guys. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think? In the comment section down below, let me know. Let's have a real conversation about it. At the end of the day, we as a community have to voice our opinion. If we want a continuation of the Dead Rising franchise, we have to be the ones voicing that and stating that we want this game made. But let me know, guys. Let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Dead Rising 5 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.